All right, you guys, I'm setting my custom marker right here for another side quest. All right, we're here. Looks like these gentlemen set fire to a hut. What's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Piss off, or we'll fry you along with a fucking elf. Damn, snitched on yourself. Well, you better talk to me nicely. That's the third There's option. A third way out of this situation. Let's go ahead and put Art and blow down that door so the elf can Fast. escape and doesn't burn to a crisp. Yeah. Ah, it was a she elf. It makes so much more sense now. You guys have freaking elf fetishes, don't you? Maybe you just want to see what she elf tastes like. It's elf bacon. Damn, she got her bow out and everything. I see you. Launch some shots, though. Just standing there. What do you got that bow for? There you go. Yeah! And Roach got a hit in. Whoa, it's my lucky day. Damn, he took a shot right to the back of the head. Thanks for the assist there. Where'd you go? Victim. <laughs> Are you a victim, ma'am? What was this about? Why'd they want to burn you alive? They came to rob me. I refused to betray where I keep my valuables, so they brought in a cart full of firewood, barred me inside, and set fire to the thing. Probably counting on you being swayed. Though I doubt they would have let you live even if you'd talked. I've yet to thank you for your aid, Vatgern. My coin lies concealed in a hollowed out stump behind the house. Take what you wish. It's dangerous to possess too much in these times. Thank you. Farewell. Well, my pleasure. Adler Folk Boots. I think this is a, that legendary is a set drop, actually. All right, let's check the stump behind the house. I think it's, yep, this one. 20 crowns. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. All right, next undiscovered location. All right, we're here, and I blew up the nest, and there's actually no monsters here, which is pretty weird, actually. There's a barrel here, though. Two chat. And you know what? Let's just go the back way. All right, now, if you guys just come a little bit south, you guys can find the Codger's Quarry and a side quest, but these miners can die, and there's a lot of alcohol, so I'm going to put Necrophage Oil on my Silver Sword. Just to try to make it a little bit easier on me. Let's meet the miners. Get out of it. Not another step. Or there'll be one corpse more. Listen, I... Behind you. If you think I'm gonna fall for... Oh, you fucker. <laughs> oh, you fucker. Alright, let's try our best here. Same thing, try and take the aggro because they will ignore you. Damn, they just launched that guy. Damn, nothing I could do for you, bro. They just went straight for you. You're going for him over there, too. Thought I save at least one of you guys. Only one more. Come on, you guys are miners. Pick up a rock and throw it or something. Holy crap. Thank you. If not for you, that would have been the end of us. Sure as spring. No kidding, man. Witchers. Starting to think I need more XP for these jobs. Y'all got me stressed up in here, man. Y'all are not throwing rocks. Come on now. Pick up some dirt, start slinging. All right. Now the most important loot though is in here because we got some more 
Enhanced feline gauntlets. It's something. All right, now come over here to the next custom marker, and there's a fast travel here that you want. You could just kind of ride through until you pick it up. Got it. There we go. All right, once we got that, we can go probably up here to the next marker. There's a shopkeeper. I need to sell up some of my crap, but... So you can actually go this way? Nice. Excuse me, guards. <laughs> Oh, fuck. There he is. Hey, you. Hey, you. And now, I think in this house, there's a book with the wild hunt in it. I think we've already read this one, though. And a couple of stuff in here, too, but... I'm gonna keep trying to show you guys where all the books are, just in case. Alright you guys, at this little pond right here by the Codger's Quarry, there are two chests and then I'm going over here to this monster's nest to clear out. To the bottom we go. Runestone. I hardly sold any of my stuff to that guy by the way, he had like no gold for me to just offload but... We'll get another chance here soon, hopefully before we're over encumbered again. Right. I think it's just a village of rot fiends, if I'm remembering right. Just get one low and then it should blow up the others. Not sure if they're it's gonna do that much damage though. Oh yeah it did. Nice. Awesome. Feel free to loot the area and then continue on guys. Nice, got him. Much easier to take out one than two. Rod fiend nest needs to be destroyed. Indeed. Hopefully we have oh we don't have any more bombs. I'm gonna have to meditate then. Boom! Devour. Die for it! Nice. Those guys leave a nasty uh, cloud residue, so be careful. All right, and that's that. All right, you guys, next undiscovered location. Looks like there's a lot of drowners here. Definitely. Just hidden treasure, level four drowners. I think this is like a really high level quest, but low level enemies. Holy crap. Damn, I just dodged right into that one. That was a bit of a close one, guys. Bloodstained key and bloodstained document. And this starts a quest. And here it is. We just gotta blow this part with Ard. And Headhunter Sword. Headhunter. All right, so this sword is slightly better. It's only one level up. We're like 29 XP away, so we can probably start using that when we hit level five. Is there any more XP around here? 
Alright you guys, we are 30 XP points away from level 5 and that's the goal, so I'm gonna try and, on my way to the next area, take out as many monsters as I can. And I really hate Foglets, man, I really freaking hate these guys. They have a like a 1-2 combo they can come out of when they go invisible and reappear, and they hurt so bad. Damn, there's two of them too, oh my goodness. Still got Keen on, maybe I can bait him and then... I didn't light him on fire, that would have helped a lot if I did. I gotta pop Keen though, let me just dodge. Defense is huge against these guys. Yeah, that two punch, man, watch that two punch. Damn, I already popped my Keen. Don't kill me. Ooh, close, man. Not one of them. Five. Some extra damage to him. Just don't want to punch me, please. Here he comes. Nice. They're both dead. Damn, and they were 5 XP each. Unfortunate. Alright, but this is where I'm going. I'm going over here to this next question mark. And we're here. Now, this thing is a pain in the ass, too. It's a huge ass freaking hag guarding the treasure. And I don't know how high level this thing is, actually. Uh-oh. Yeah, that means we're in trouble. Let's see if we can even deal damage to it. We actually can. Always have Keen up, though, because this thing can damage the crap out of you. And unfortunately, I don't have... ...lead or something on my sword. These are really good for, like, high-level enemies. I might have a rune that does bleed, but I think I just have armor piercing 10 on this one. Damn. Hope that's mud and not your shit, you nasty. One-on-one -on -one with the hag, so it might take a while, but... It's doable, at least if it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Damn! Miss me, jerk. You're so ugly. Miss me. Miss me. Oh, you miss me. Oh, damn. Miss me. Damn, how am I not dead? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, it's taking a lot of you guys. Holy crap, you missed again, jerk. Holy crap, this fight is taking a while, you guys. Oh, we got her. Holy crap. Damn, you're ugly. Alright, let's see what she had for us. Key attached to a crumpled note. Battlefield loot. Alright, let's look for it. So there's one chest right here. But the one that you're looking for is right here. And I'm actually going to put on these trousers because they give me vitality and we definitely want more health. We're also level 5 so we can equip the headhunter sword too. But keep in mind that the viper sword does have a chance of poison damage and bonus XP from humans and non-humans so if you're facing humans you might want to equip the sword because it's still pretty nice. Alright guys over here at the custom marker there's another place with another side quest. Now there's also another one right here but it's a level 30 basilisk, so I would definitely not recommend going over here to this other island. Definitely stay away from there at all costs uh, at this current level. This is one of my favorite side quests. Meet Trollolol. And he sings for you. He's a nice troll. You match here, Regania Cap Army. 
No cross? No, don't steal! Britannian army? Where are you hiding them? In... in here! Me! No see mans? Join me! King Ravo did army! Order got... guard boats is. Hmm... boats are in pretty bad shape. Me! Guard boats, Red say, but no wood for to make a fence. They're boats, I, so me fence make a boat. Boats, guard boats. <laughs> Why'd you join the army? Someone recruit you? Crude? No crude. Come good soldier man. Say chargey man, what's boats? Peasanters, they steals peasanters' boats. That's the trollolo. No, no. Trollolo. Like I do. Redanian seized some peasants' boats. Thought the peasants might try to take them back. What happened next? Chargey men go. Soldier men drink and sing. Not sing. Listen, troll. Buff. Come, peasanters, swing sharpie sticks. I help <laughs> one army. Runner to runner. Holler, peasanters. Holler, soldier man. Gentle. Move them apart. But all lie down, soldier man's too. <laughs> you order, kill them. But <laughs> order had me watch boats. And watch I. Trollololo soldier man now. Trollolo just sing too. You for sing you? No thanks. Heard you earlier. But listen, where are the bodies? Don't see any. Hungry go. Should know it. And he ate him. After he killed him. Okay. Food. Soldier man friends. Not so good big stew. Always good. Oh my god. Well, you know what? They attacked you, so <laughs> I think you're in the right, buddy. Guess I understand. Wartime rules. Yeah, wartime, Man's totally. Soldier man too? Uh, no. Tra -la -la -la. Makes man soldier man. Trollo, chargey man. Say, bring paint, and man brings paint. Uh, paint? What are we talking about? Paint! Paint! Red colory, white colory, city gods, no city go. Trollolo, watch boats. He wants us to bring him some paint, so he's artistic, he can sing. Fine. What a good troll I'll try to find some paint for you. Good man! Retaini army, no service forget. I mean, look, you got a lot of red paint around here, you know, you little Picasso, you. And he's singing again. Okay. Well, behind him is a chest that we want. Here we go. Diagram. Enhanced Griffin armor. Some more Witcher armor for us. In order to complete this mission, we have to go to Oxenfurt, but we can just do that another time. Let's start heading this away. All right, all that's at this marker is just an abandoned site. I figured I could clear these guys out and bring the shopkeeper to sell a couple of stuff before we get over encumbered again. I already popped my cane. That's nice. They're level nine, so I gotta be a little careful here. Your head from my saddle. Got rid of one. Oh, there's another one that spawned. I see you. Oh, damn, that other one got free. Damn, I thought it was right into him. Got rid of him. One left. Nice, should be easy from here. Welcome, settlers. Welcome back to your home. 
All right, you guys, once we loot and sell all our crap, up here is two different monster nests, so be careful. Make sure you guys have your bombs refreshed to as many as you guys need. And we're kind of almost done taking on all the side stuff around here. We actually have a couple more things to do, but... Let's start here with this monster's nest. Can we actually already just... Damn, level 9, huh? I think one's gonna probably pop out of here already. <laughs> Did absolutely nothing, man. The crossbow damage is terrible. Let me just try to attack this one while it's by itself. Oh, what the hell? Counters are here too? You guys are in cahoots, I see. Oh no, one of my swords is in really bad shape. I'm gonna have to fix that. Can I fix it right now? I think I have a repair item, I do. There we go. We need all the attack power we can have. Damn, you're backed up against a tree, my friend. Damn, he's not on fire. Oh, this guy just spawned out. Not bad. Yeah, I'm not on fire. Oh, he just dropped dead. What the hell? Must have hit him with some poison. He almost got incredibly lucky on me. Alright, let me go ahead over here to the other side. Looks like there's some more. Damn, you're in a corner, my friend. Nowhere for you to back up to. Take this honey too for my troubles. Oh damn. Holy crap, that was a close one. I almost died to wolves. That's crazy. There was a huge pack of wolves in this field that I just destroyed. All right, so this is where I'm going next is another side quest right here. Then there's a fast travel right here at this building. And then lastly, a guarded treasure there. So here we are at the hidden treasure. And of course the hidden treasure is going to take me behind me right towards those drowners. So let's go ahead and track the quest, heal up a little bit. Alright, screw the heal. We don't need to sit there and wait for our help to go up. They're only level 4 anyways, so that's actually really good. It's kind of weird how it goes up and down a lot, isn't it? Definitely want to prioritize Kane since I'm low. I think he might give me an opening though, I don't know. Just keep popping Keen and then if it recharges, I can pop it. Hey, nope. There's only one left. We're fine. Alright, so let's loot the chest. Not a very good one, to be honest, but. Alright, next, this. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of ghouls here. Oh, 
Oh, crap. <laughs> Let me at least get rid of this one. Thank you, little stinkers. Holy crap. And they're flying at me. Nice. At least we took out two of them. We just gotta keep slashing away. We're getting there. Watch out for the charge. Holy crap. Nice, we actually did it. It was looking close there for a while. We had to play perfectly. Alright, it's a diagram and a manuscript down here in the water. Another chest right there. Nothing in it though. Come behind the house, and there's another chest. Alright guys, so next off I'm going to want to coat my blade in necrophage oil because instead of taking a left to my marker right here, we're going to follow this road to the right to an abandoned site. And there's a lot of ghouls followed by an owl ghoul with them and I'm going to have to actually try to lure the owl ghoul out with my crossbow here. Actually, what the hell? Show me what you got. For some reason. Okay. I mean, that's fine if they actually come to me. I wanted the Al Ghoul, but this works. Even better if I don't have all of them. The ghouls you can guard with the Al Ghouls. A badass version of this thing. You gotta hit it with Axie when its uh, spikes are out. Let me see if I can get him over here. I'm just gonna push in here. Guy's backed into a corner so he can't back off. Little jerk. If I keep killing them individually like this, this is actually a lot better for me. There's a lot of loot. Silver. He's like, hey, don't lose my shit. This is my tent. I'm sorry. Is this your tent? Was it really? Do I invade your privacy? Alright, one ghoul and an owl ghoul. This should be doable enough. Once his spikes come out, just hit him with Axie because he's going to deflect the damage back to you. What if I can actually just kill this last guy? Nice, I did. Alright. Oh my god. He can take me out. Let me make sure I have Keen first and then I'll switch to Axie. I'll just dodge this guy better. I don't want him to hit me. Alright, there we go. Spikes are gone. Let's hit him a little bit. We can get him to back into something. There we go. So we can keep hitting him. Damn, he almost killed me. All right, let me... Damn. Don't look... I don't see his spikes out. Let me see if I can kill him. Nice. Oh, it was an abandoned site. Okay. Welcome home. 120 XP points. Worth. Buying or just perusing? That area. Sold our stuff. And now we're back at it. We're back at my custom marker. The one I set a while ago. Holy crap. There's a lot of these guys. Like Holy crap. Sick. Here, let's see if I can actually... Damn. That didn't work. Holy crap. Try this again. Man, there's a lot of you guys. And there was 
one, jerk. How are you gonna do that? Oh well, might as well use it now. Come here. Damn! I <laughs> blew myself up! I got so much freaking HP. Alright, another diagram of vampire oil. That's nice. Yes, there are vampires in this game as well. Hopefully we won't find any for some time though. Alright you guys, so next question mark right here. This is a bandit camp, then a monster's nest, and then yet another undiscovered location. So, I took off my swallow and my water and I put on some better food that'll heal me a lot better because... was not doing it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be taking Axie on and off until we hit level 6 we can put on something else. Ooh, he almost got me. Oh, I also put on the uh, damage feedback up there and the numbers so you guys can see it and everything that I'm doing. And I also put on subtitles. Someone had asked me to put it on back in episode 2. And uh, I also figured with the whole rock troll and the way he speaks, I should probably put on subtitles so people can understand him. Poor little troll, lol, dude. He's such a good, he's like such a good rock troll, man. Oh, nice. Square tail sword and split bolts. Troll, lol, doesn't mean hard. No harm, man. The reds just force him to be a soldier. He didn't, he didn't mean to eat those people and make a human soup. He's just a dumb troll -a lol man. He's just doing trolly lol Show things. Nah, uh, but those humans did come after him anyways. First, he's just the first thing. You know, he's a signpost like a good little soldier. Wow, I actually lit this guy on fire. There's only two? I felt like there was only two. Go oh, there's one right there. Ought to just destroy it. Okay. Destroy this, and then we go to this other question mark. All right, another damn foglet. Oh my goodness. I probably should not have done that. Whoops, I meant to pop Keen. I forgot I had Igni on again. Here he comes. You can tell by the fog too, because he uses the fog to attack you. Ooh, he almost got me. All right, here we go. Small key, letter, and the chest that it opens is right here too. Oh, nice, we got a greater rune stone. That's really nice. All right, now I just went down here to grab this fast travel real quick and there's a chest under the bridge and then I'll head right about here. There should be a side quest. Here it is. All right, we're here guys, we made it. And this is just a random encounter. You don't want to get too close to this area because these thugs can kill these guys and you don't want them to do that, so. Do we have Axie? Let's give him an Axie. Oh nice, they actually killed the other one. Let's go. Good job, guys. Damn cheap guards. You get your coins worth, even less. Thank you, Witcher. Where would I be without you? Your guards run off. Louts didn't get the chance, thank the gods. It's them you cut down, waited until we passed the last settlement, then attacked. And to think, I made sure the scoundrels were well armed. We stood no chance against them. 
Why'd you come all the way to Velen? Not many to sell to around here. Well, there's the Baron. Perhaps you've heard of him. Worth the journey just to sell to him? We'd never have set course for these gods forsaken lands if it wasn't. And we've not much competition. That's the upside. Thank you. Please, this was to be theirs at our destination. Now it's yours. What a bunch of nice, good folk. Alright, let's loot up and go to the next area. Roach, let's go. This way. There should be another, what is it, a guarded treasure, I think? And it's an Al Ghoul, and it's a pain in the ass Al Ghoul, because it's level 13. So let's go ahead and pop Keen, switch it to Axie. And another gnat, there is a crap ton of wolves over the hill. I don't have to worry about those guys more than this thing. And here we go. Oh, we actually get a legendary sword. Pretty nice, actually. All right, we're here at the abandoned site. It looks like just a bunch of drowners. Damn, are those guys just eating and not paying attention to me? Wow, that's rude. I like that silver. Is that it? Yep, that was it. Alright you guys, now be very careful looting around here because this area unfortunately doesn't have the steel icon for some reason, but if you take anything from that area, man, they'll be upset and attack you, so... Let's go over here to the quest. And then let's go down here and see what we're looking for. Now there is some drowners here, but if you're in the water, your crossbow does a lot of damage, so. And it's a lot better to just aim it. Don't let the computer do it for you. It doesn't lead it enough when you let the computer do it, so most of the time you're gonna miss. That sword's also really nice. It's a little weaker than the one we have, but I think it does a lot of burn damage, so... Alright, you guys, so I'm heading about right here where my custom marker is. Right here, there's a shopkeep and a chest that has a diagram for you in it. But right here, by these three pawns, man, look what I found. I found the army of Neckers! A freaking army, man! Look at these guys! You guys are lethal as hell in a group, dude. Be very careful. These guys just jump at you like this and just they have you concentrate on defense the whole entire time You can't really have an offense, so Just use your Igni to like open up some attacks Be very careful If you get hit just back off Should probably pop Keen actually before I try that again. I'm getting kind of low and They keep popping off the ground look at this Stop it let me attack! Damn, there's so many of you guys. You're all so ugly. I think I was like 150 XP away. So let's see what I'm at now from killing all those 915. So it was like 65 XP. It was pretty good, I guess. Perhaps worth the struggle. Oh, what the hell these guys are doing out here, though? 
I hear frogs. Maybe they're trying to feast on some frogs. That's my best guess anyways. Okay, let's head to this custom marker right here. Get ready to end the video. Here we are. This is the diagram right here. Assassin's trousers. On a pretty nice shirt, actually. Alright, another shopkeeper we just cleaned out. Now, let's take a look at the map here. So, I'm pretty much just trying to focus this whole island that I'm on right now. Just to kind of do everything around here that we can possibly do already. So, down here, there's a bandit camp with a level 16 leader. I'm just not about to struggle with that yet, so I'll do that later. Right here is a bandit camp that actually is a lot bigger than just a bandit camp. It has a mine, too. So, there's a quest about right here tied to this and it's only a part of the next gen the whole new update so if you aren't on that then you won't have this quest but it's a level 15 quest i'm not going to do that just yet the bandits on the inside right here just level nine but i'm still just going to wait just so it's a little bit easier and then there's a cave around right here that's tied to a contract later it's like i think it's like level 32 maybe or maybe close to the 30 somewhere. So I'm not doing that either. And then this area I'm also not doing because it's kind of large as well. So it's been two episodes of just doing side stuff, man. And we only just kind of knocked out this tiny island. So in the next episode, we're going to do a couple more side things. I'm going to try and start it off with this main mission right here. And then just kind of complete the surrounding area. The, the places that we can complete that aren't too high leveled for us. And then I know we got a couple of Gwent matches in the area over here. So that's the agenda for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode.